Good day, people. How you doing? The Cemetery Enthusiast here, coming to you live from the Lower Land Cemetery in South Dallas. Today, I'm going to show you the grave of Officer J.D. Tippett. He was a former police officer back in the 1960s, and he was murdered by uh, Lee Harvey Oswald, the perpetrator that murdered John F. Kennedy that day. So, hope you all like this video. Subscribe. Right here lies the grave of former officer J.D. Tippett. He was a former Dallas police officer in Dallas, Texas. And he was murdered by Lee Harvey Oswald. J.D. Tippett was born September 18th of 1924 and died November 22nd of 1963, the day JFK was assassinated. A lot of people who don't know who J.D. Tippett was, but I'm going to give you some brief information about who was J.D. Tippett. J.D. Tippett was a law enforcement officer. He was the Dallas police officer that was allegedly killed by Lee Harvey Oswald on the day of the Kennedy assassination. Evidence fully indicated that Lee Harvey Oswald killed Officer Tippett, but since Oswald was never brought to trial, it remains only an allegation. Born J.D. Tippett in Clarksville, Texas, the oldest of six children to Edgar Lee Tippett, his father, a sharecropper, cotton farmer, and his wife and mother, Lizzie Bain Russ. The initials J.D. was given to him by his father as a first name and do not stand for anything. He was named after a character that his father had read about in a novel while in high school and had admired. J.D. Tippett attended Fulbright High School through the 10th grade, but dropped out to help on the family farm. He enjoyed hunting, fishing, and horseback riding. And when World War II broke out, J.D.'s father left to work in a war plant in Hooks, Texas. Leaving his son, J.D. Tippett, who was 15 years old, to operate the family farm. And in 1944, the family moved to Birmingham, Texas to be near the war factory that his father worked at. J.D. Tippett enlisted into the United States Army and following basic training at Camp Walters, Texas, J.D. Tippett volunteered to train as a paratrooper. And he completed airborne training at Fort Benning, Georgia. In late 1944, J.D. Tippett was shipped to England and assigned to the 17th Airborne Division as an infantryman. And he also did a tour in Germany during the Hitler era. And when J.D. Tippett came, from, came back from the war, he moved back to Dallas, Texas, and he married, a, he married his high school sweetheart. And he joined the Dallas Police Department after that. And on November 22, 1963, Lee Harvey Oswald at the time assassinated John F. Kennedy by the Dealey Plaza. And there were reports by two people stating that they saw Lee Harvey Oswald got into a taxi cab headed south to Oak Cliff. So J.D. Tippett at the time was doing patrol and he got the information about Lee Harvey Oswald roaming around somewhere. So J.D. Tippett was driving in Oak Cliff in his police car and he saw a man that looked exactly like Lee Harvey Oswald. So right away J.D. Tippett got out of his car and he approached Lee Harvey Oswald telling him to stop, put up your hands, turn around. I'm gonna detain you. So right away, Lee Harvey Oswald refused to cooperate. And Lee Harvey Oswald pulled out a pistol, shooting at J.D. Tippett and killing him immediately. So right after uh, J.D. Tippett was killed, Lee Harvey Oswald took up on foot and he ran inside the Texas theater in Oak Cliff. And 30 minutes later, he was apprehended 
by the Dallas Police Department and he was taken into custody. He was charged with the murder of John F. Kennedy, J.D. Tippett, and multiple other people that he murdered. And after that, when um, Lee Harvey Oswald was walking inside the jail from outside, he, Lee Harvey Oswald was approached by a mob boss by the name of Jack Ruby. So Jack Ruby walked up to, J, to Lee Harvey Oswald and he pulled out a gun and he shot and he killed Lee Harvey Oswald. So that's my story and my perspective about J.D. Tippett. And I hope y'all like the video. If you have any information, more information about the story, please feel free to comment, leave a like, leave a share. Please subscribe my channel and I hope y'all like these vlogs and God bless. Signing off from the Lowerland Cemetery Mausoleum in Dallas. Catch you on the next vlogs. Thanks for watching.